Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 Toyota Tundra Crew Max. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Full-size trucks are more popular than ever, and the race to have the most luxurious, advanced, and gadget-filled machine is in full swing. Bringing up the back end of this race, however, is the 2019 Toyota Tundra. Compared with the rest of the segment, the aging Tundra is decidedly behind the times. That said, we'll form our own conclusions in this build and price review. The 2019 Toyota Tundra is a full-size pickup that is available in one of five trim levels. The Base SR, the Value Conscious SR5, the Flexible Limited, the Upmarket Platinum, and the Specialized 1794 Edition and TRD Pro. Two engines are available, both V8s, a 4.6 liter making 310 horsepower and 327 pound-feet of torque, and a 5.7 liter V8 that makes 381 horsepower and 401 pound-feet of torque. From there, you'll pick a body style, the regular double cab, crew cab, or extra large crew max, and one of three bed lengths. Note that Toyota limits certain combinations of the above and feature availability can vary depending on where you live in the U.S. Okay, that was fun. Let's jump into this build and price review of the 2019 Toyota Tundra. Even though it's getting long in the tooth, that's what I basically said. It's got an MSRP that starts at, well, as we can see, $31,420 for the base model. On up to around fifty-ish thousand dollars. We're gonna look at all the trim levels. Although we're gonna build in price, I like the limited. I like the limited because it's the first one that gets you into the leather, right? It's the first uh, tier that gets you into the leather. So here's what we're gonna do first, though. We're going to spin this vehicle around. Can we do that? Yeah, we can spin this vehicle around so we can get an all-around view. I like that side shot there. And let's go through these colors real quick. The exterior colors for the 2019 Toyota Tundra. Uh, this one's called Calvary Blue, then Voodoo Blue. I'm not really crazy about that. That looks very TRD to me. Um, then there's the Midnight Black Metallic, Smoked Mesquite, Magnetic Gray Metallic. Then there's Cement. That's interesting. Silver Sky Metallic, Super White. We've got the Quicksand, which I like. And then their shade of red that they call Barcelona Red Metallic. So here are all the Tundra models. So you can see we got that base model SR. It's got 31, it starts at $31,420. It even has the Toyota Safety Sense. Toyota Safety Sense is like a standard suite of uh, safety and security features. And we're going to take a look at that, of course. And you can see all the standard features that it has. And then the SR5, that's the value conscious SR5, starting at 33000 But still... No leather interior, right? you got to get to the limited. See, I like the limited. It's $40,000. You've got the dual zone automatic climate control. You've got 20-inch wheels. You've got leather trimmed and heated front bucket seats with power driver and front passenger. You've got the upgraded uh, premium JBL audio. And you got LED headlights and LED fog lights. And then, well, I guess now you're moved up to the big 38-gallon fuel tank simply because the SR didn't say that it has a 38-gallon fuel tank. So I guess the limited... Get you up into, or I guess the SR5 gets you into that tier on 5.7 V8 models only. You get the 38 gallon tank, I guess. So this one's got the 5.7 liter engine. And I guess at the end of the day, if there's one or two little things that I might want to option along the way without having to bump up to the platinum, I'm sure we can find that. So that's why I like the limited. We can see that the platinum, of course, you're going to get everything. And then, of course, you got your special edition 1794 edition and then your TRD Pro. And so I like all of those, but I wanted to pick a model that I think that I would see on the road most often. You're either going to see like you're either going to see one of these three levels on the road most often. I like the limited because of the leather. So let's move on. I think we should go take a look at the gallery. Let's go through all the photos, and then we'll go through the features, look at the full specs, and then we'll do the build and price review. All right. This is the 1794 edition Crew Max shown in smoked mesquite with available power tilt slide moonroof and running boards. Here's a TDR Pro Crew Max. I like the Crew Max bed. This is the Limited with the Crew Max shown in Calvary Blue with available tilt power sun roof, running boards, and Limited Premium Package. We'll find out what the Premium Package is when we get over to the features. Here's an SR5 double cab right here with the TRD Package. 
here's a limited crew max with uh, a limited premium package. All right, I won't read every one of those. I'm just kind of checking the trucks out. That's a nice shot there. I like that. That's a 1794 edition. So that's going to probably have the different... We'll read about it, but I think that one gets like the little different leathers and stuff like that. That sort of kind of reminds me of like a, uh, a Ford... Uh, Oh, what's King Ranch Edition? Sort of reminds me of a King Ranch Edition. I saw one of these, a 1794, at the uh, Portland Auto Show just just weeks ago. And it's just, I it's just okay. It's just okay. So, all right. So, here we go. We've gone through these photos. One more there. There's one on the beach. All right, let's go check out the exterior photos. I'm sorry, the interior photos. The, inter the exterior is okay. I think the interior is very nice. I think that, yeah, maybe it is a little bit behind the times compared to the other models, but that doesn't necessarily mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing in my book. That's not necessarily a bad thing in my book. Now, is this the 1794 edition? Yeah, this was the 1794 edition with that leather. What's this? One? Oh, this one's the Platinum Crew Max. That is very attractive. I don't know if I want to pay another $7,000 for that. Is that also on the seats or is that just on the dashboard, this diamond quilt? I don't know. Here's a limited interior, right? This one's leather as well. That's 1794. That one's probably the only one that gets that brown. Here's a platinum with a power window, All right? Limited crew max. 4.2 inch full color multi display. We'll learn about that in the features, I'm sure. There's a TRD Pro. All right, all right. We checked out all those photos. Let's go check out all the features now. All right, so I thought let me show you everything. So. They want to talk about the Tundra TRD Pro. We'll probably we'll probably skip over that. We're gonna skip over that because we're focusing on the limited. So we're not gonna we're not gonna really spend any time on that. I'll maybe think maybe we'll take a look at this Tundra TRD family and then we'll get on with it. I don't think we're gonna spend much time on the Pro, but we'll take a look at the TRD family. Then we'll take a look at the rest of this: engineering and design, interior and utility, payload and towing, performance, and then find out about all that standard Toyota safety sense stuff, and then technology safety full specs. It won't take us long to get through it. You know what? Actually, this is a full building price review. Actually, let's take a look at that Tundra Pro because I'm curious. I see the wheel right here. <laughs> so let's just take a look at it. Surely it's only going to take a second. So some of the features that make up a TRD Pro are 18-inch Forge BBS wheels. That's standard on every Tundra TRD Pro. Uh, those are Forge aluminum BBS wheels. BBS wheels are high-end wheels if you don't know about wheels. Uh, and they reduce unsprung mass by 3.35 pounds. That's a lot. That improves every metric of performance. Every metric of performance, just so you know. Then we've got the TRD uh, Fox suspension, right? This is really cool. Tuned by TRD, these shocks feature a beefy 46-millimeter piston and 11 bypass zones to help control the front wheels. Extra 1.5 inches of travel. Da, 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 da. That's pretty cool. So... We've got the high-end suspension that goes on the TRD. Now, is are we going to be able to get any of this kind of TRD stuff on our limited? I don't know. That's kind of why I like thought, eh, maybe I should look at some of this stuff so we can be up on it if, if there's some kind of options that we might be able to put on our limited. So it's worth noting all this stuff. They've got the aluminum skid plate on the bottom. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. That protects you from all kinds of stuff. Cars, a lot of cars in general should just have that. My Saabs. 900s and SPGs I used to drive back in the day used to have those skid plates on them too. A tuned dual exhaust. Tundra TRD Pro comes standard with a dual exhaust featuring black chrome exhaust tips. This mandrel bent exhaust only amplifies the truck's good looks. It also helps make this powerful 5.7 liter V8 sound really, really good. Okay, Rigid Industries fog lights. These guys must be really good at what they do. Rigid Industries LED fog lights pack a lot of brightness into a compact package, right? The TRDs, they come with these lights. They also get leather trim seating. All right, awesome. This is one interior that refuses to settle for average. That's nice. I'm glad that it gets a leather interior. It gets red contrasting stitches, seats and armrests. That's pretty cool. A TRD shift knob, TRD pro branded floor mats and center console emblem and all that. So right, nice distinct look. I think the TRD is cool, but I want to go with a vehicle that I, with a, with a, with a trim level that I thought we'd see on the road more often. Okay, so now we were going to start off. Now we're at where I said I thought we should start off at, which is with the Tundra TRD family. But I thought, hey, let's go ahead and look at those other slides real quick. So here are some things. 20-inch TRD sport alloy wheels. So we'll be able to put that on our limited. We might have a good shot at doing that. When you look this good, it's okay to show off a little. That's why the Tundra TRD sport rides on bold 20-inch TRD sport package uh, alloy wheels. So we'll see if we can get it. I don't know yet. 
There are TRD Sport Bilstein shocks. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's why we equipped Tundra TRD Sport. All right, so that's awesome. So I'm kind of feeling that the Tundra TRD Sport must be a package. Exclusive to Tundra TRD Sport is a unique set of sport-tuned anti-sway bars featuring a solid 36-millimeter sway bar up front and a solid 25-millimeter sway bar out back. Right, that's pretty cool. These parts deliver sharper turn and response, flatter cornering, and a whole heck of a lot of fun. That's nice. It looks good under there too, doesn't it? The TRD off-road package, 18-inch wheels, right? Constructed from cast aluminum and wrapped in Michelin all-terrain tires. Then they've got some TRD off-road Bilstein shocks. Right, these are cool. 46 millimeter monotube type Bilstein uh, struts sit at all four corners. All right, this beefy suspension lets this truck. Take on the punishing stuff without the punishing ride. And then this one looks like a little more, I don't know, heavier duty uh, skid plate. There's your off TRD off-road skid plate. Okay, let's talk about engineering and design. Engineering and design. So have Toyota, uh, have, uh, yeah, have Toyota trucks been around for 50 years? With a lineage that goes back more than 50 years and iconic name plates like Land Cruiser and Helix, Toyota trucks have come to define the word tough. And there are few things there are few things tougher than a 2019 Toyota Tundra full size pickup, available 5.7 liter V8, which we will be having in our limited, uh, overbuilt powertrain, properly equipped Tundras can tow over 10,000 pounds. Grades like Tundra Platinum and 1794 edition mean you can haul all that cargo in style and comfort too. That's pretty good. 10,000 pounds uh, towing capacity, up to 10,000 pound towing capacity. Oh, they build them in Texas. Wait a minute. A dedicated team probably assembles every Tundra in San Antonio, Texas. In fact, the 1794 edition takes its name from the year the ranch on which the Toyota plant now sits was founded. They want to make sure this truck is as American as possible. That is my takeaway on that. And then it says engineered for the U.S. The journey continues in Michigan, where engineering teams work on the mighty Tundra. Michigan is home to some of the Harshest conditions a truck could ever face, allowing the engineer team, engineering team to make sure Tundra can tackle everything the weekend, the work site, and your family can throw at it. Styled in California and Michigan. You see the theme? I swear I didn't look at this stuff beforehand. But you, you can just pick up those cues. They want this truck to be very American. That's the market, right? Styled in California and Michigan. Before it rolls down the assembly line or appears in a showroom, Tundra is styled in California and Michigan. We created Tundra with the American consumer in mind right from the start. Inspiration came from all over the nation in designing this legendary truck. Now, you know what I think is interesting? You know, in the beginning I said, hey, you know, this truck doesn't have as many of the uh, cutting edge things as some of the other vehicles that are in the class. But something tells me that this truck is just built really, really, really solid. And even though you might be missing out on some of those things, you might not really be missing out if you understand what I'm saying. Right? Let's move on to... Uh, Interior and utility. Check it out. Interior design. The optimal blend of functionality and comfort. Tundra's spacious cabin gives you and your crew plenty of room to stretch out. Premium materials are used throughout for an upscale, upscale feel. An intuitive control layout puts your tech right where you need it. I think it looks kind of attractive. I think it looks kind of attractive. Let's look at the, what they got to say about the 1794 edition, though. Uh, this is a Crew Max, Elite Ford, and full size truck luxury. Um, yeah, I'm sure they're going, like I said, I'm sure they're going right after the King Ranch on this one, right? They've got, uh, upgraded everything. So you've got this leather stitching on the dash right here and everything. I will say this platinum interior does look good. I'm not, I don't want to bump up the 47,000. I'm going to still, we're still going to do the building price of the limited. I just like this platinum material. I like the platinum interior. It's really nice. I like the, I like this diamond quilt stitching. Always like the diamond quilt stitching. Dual zone automatic climate control. That's standard on our limited that we're going to build in price today. I also see heated seats, right? Are these heated seats? Uh, Tundra is available with dual zone automatic climate control with individual temperature settings for the driver and front passenger. We know your truck can double as your office, so this helps keep everyone comfortable. There's fold-up rear seats. So let's say to create even more usable cabin space, the rear seats in the double cab and crew max fold up instead of flat. This not only creates more room, it also makes it easier to load cargo. Opt for available full bucket seats, and you'll get a center console with a covered storage compartment plus a 12-volt auxiliary power outlet. Let's talk payload and towing. 
So built to haul with features like staggered outboard mounted shocks, a heavy duty triple tech frame with integrated towing hitch receiver, plus a trailer hitch that utilizes 12 high strength bolts integrated into the frame. Tundra's iForce 5.7 liter V8 has the available brawn to help you tow over 10,000 pounds. A combination meter, which includes a vault meter, coolant temperature, fuel and engine oil pressure gauges, help you keep your eye on, on your Tundra's vitals, right? The Tundra has been SAE rated since 2010, adopting the standard tow ratings as set by the Society of Automotive Engineers, SAE, which also sets the ratings for things like, you know, your oil and all that stuff. You got the big 38-gallon fuel tank when you get the big 5.7 liter V8. That's pretty cool. You've got a tow haul mode with 4.7 pin connector. Tundra's 4.7 pin connector is integrated into the rear bumper and is ready for any compatible trailer. So all you have to do is hitch up, plug in, and haul out. Right? Let's see. There are more ways to tow jumbo toys, including tow haul mode with available 5.7 liter V8. It intels you hold, holds low gears longer so Tundra won't keep shifting or hunting for the right gear when towing. This system also increases throttle response, pulling power, and engine braking, helping you tow with confidence. Lastly, under this category, there's an integrated trailer brake controller and trailer sway controller. Big trucks tow big toys, which is why Tundra's available integrated trailer brake controller and standard trailer sway controller are so important. These features not only let you adjust the amount of trailer braking based on weight of the trailer, but they also detect trailer sway and apply brake pressure at individual wheels to help keep everything stabilized. That's pretty nice. I like that. Especially if you're, even if you're not a novice, but especially if you're a rookie doing this stuff, you really need these things, don't you? I think so. I definitely think so. Okay, let's talk performance. Powerful front brakes. A big part of controlling a trailer is having the ability to stop it. So yeah, the, the front brakes take the brunt of, of braking on any vehicle, especially on a big truck with all that weight. Yeah, massive 13.9-inch front brake rotors and beefy four-piston front brake calipers. Help Tundra keep speeds in check, even when hauling those heavy loads. That's cool. Massive ring gear. To handle the torque of Tundra's available iForce 5.7 liter V8, our engineers fitted the rear diff with a massive 10.5 inch rear uh, ring gear. This allows use of an aggressive 430 rear axle ratio to help amplify and transfer the 401 pound feet of torque to the 5.7 liter V8 produces and puts that to the ground, basically, is what it's saying. I hacked it up, but it says it's putting it to the ground. All right, here they're going to tell us about that big engine. 381 horse, 401 pound-feet of torque, six-speed automatic transmission. Yeah, nothing fancy, but I bet you it works. Probably doesn't break either. Um, a plus a standard tow package with added engine and transmission oil coolers, uh, equal heavy-duty towing capability. Add double overhead cams, 32-valve head design. Yeah, it's a good engine. It's a good engine. Here's that smaller 4.6-liter V8, which is 201 cubic inches. 310 horse, 327 torque via six speed Manny automatic transmission. Standard on all Tundras is automatic limited slip differential. Works like a traditional limited slip differential with a high tech twist. Instead of controlling slip mechanically, Auto LSD applies brakes individually to wheels with no traction. And unlike traction control, it doesn't cut engine power. This helps give you control and dis distributes power where it's most effective. All right. Best of all, because the system utilizes the brake system, there are no extra components that add to overall ownership costs. Nice. They said it's not costing you any extra money to, do, to for this thing. And then lastly, under this category, there's active traction control. Tundra models equipped with four-wheel drive include an A-Trax system that optimizes traction across the front and rear axles simultaneously, helping improve grip on low traction surfaces. This A-Trax system also allows full use of the two-speed transfer case, so you always have on-demand on access to Tundra's incredible torque. How come they don't have a diesel option, I'm wondering? Since they're talking about incredible torque, I just thought, how come you don't have a diesel then? That would make even more incredible torque, wouldn't it? Okay, standard Toyota Safety Sense, right? This is that standard suite of safety technology. So, um, Let's take a look at these, and then uh, I think all we have left is technology and safety after that. So we're getting through this pretty fast, and we're learning a lot, too. This one's called Pre-Collision System with Pedestrian Detection. Using an in-vehicle camera and radar to help detect a vehicle or a pedestrian in front of you, the Pre-Collision System with Pedestrian Detection can help you mitigate or avoid a potential collision. If the system determines that a frontal collision is likely, it prompts you to take action using audio, audio and visual alerts. If you notice a potential collision and apply the brakes, awesome. This may apply additional force using the brakes assist. If you don't brake in time, however, 
awesome. It may automatically do it for you, right, and help, help minimize the likelihood of a frontal collision or reduce its severity. So it is an active system. It is going to give you an audible warning and a visual warning to let you know, stop. But if you don't, it will intervene. It knows the mass, so it can do it at the absolute last second. Lane departure alert with sway warning system. Under certain circumstances, lane departure alert with sway warning system is designed to detect lane departure on roads with visible lane markings. Yeah, with visible lane markings, right? That's your, with visible lane markings. There's a lot of roads across the U.S. where the markings aren't that good. So there's going to be a lot of instances where this doesn't work. That said, uh, the lane departure alert only activates when you're traveling at a speed of 32 miles an hour or faster. When you hear or see the alert, after carefully checking the road around you, you should safely direct your vehicle back to the center of the lane. All right, so this one doesn't say that it's, a, that it's an active. It just gives you an alert. Automatic high beams right, are a safe safety system designed to help you see more clearly at night without distracting other drivers. Designed to activate at speeds above 25 miles an hour, uh, automatic high beams rely on an in-vehicle camera to help detect the, uh, high, the headlights of oncoming vehicles and taillights of preceding vehicles. Then automatically toggle between high and low beams according to... Uh, you know, according to the amount of light that's out there. So that's really cool. If it's really, really dark outside, they'll, these automatic high, high beams will come on. If there's a car approaching you, they can sense that, and the lights turn off so you're not blinding the other driver. Lastly, there's dynamic cruise control. Intended for highway use and similar to constant speed cruise control, dynamic radar cruise control lets you drive at a preset speed. And then this uses vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle distance control, which adjusts your speed to help you maintain a preset distance from, the ve from vehicles ahead of you that are driving at a slower speed. All right, this system uses a front grille-mounted radar and an in-vehicle camera designed to detect vehicles and their distance. If a driver is traveling slower than you or within your preset range, the system will automatically slow your vehicle down without deactivating cruise control. If it determines you need to slow down more, an audible and visual alert notifies you and brakes are applied. When there's no longer a vehicle driving slower than your set speed in front of you, the system will then accelerate to your preset maximum speed. That's pretty good. All right, let's see some. Uh, let's see. Let's learn about some technology. Standard backup camera and display audio. Nothing makes a long drive easier. So that's pretty cool. You get the both are standard on Tundra. So you've got a backup camera. Uh, and what else do you have there? Standard backup camera and display audio. Awesome. And that's standard on the Tundra on all models. Integrated navigation with Tundra's available integrated navigation featuring a 7-inch high-resolution touchscreen. Doesn't look very high-resolution. See, this is where they're dropping the ball at right here. Stuff like this. Uh, you'll find your way no problem. Now, if you don't care about all this, you care more about the rest of the stuff, I think that at the end of the day, as long as it has Bluetooth streaming audio and, and a decent, decent stereo, I could probably be happy with that. Here's the multifunction information display. It's customizable. It's 4.2 inch. It provides odometer, tripometer, instant average fuel economy, distance to empty, average speed, tripometer, uh, integrated trailer brake controller, uh, and all that. So you don't have a digital speedometer. I don't. I didn't see digital speedometer in there at all. And I'm really about the digital speedometer, and I didn't see that in there. Now I'm I'm a little let down on the digital speedometer, but we'll we can live with that. All right. So that was the end of that. There's nothing else on there. That column. Is there anything else on this page? Let's look. Yes, we have a few modules for safety. So the star safety system. Tundra comes standard with the star safety system, a suite of six advanced safety features that include vehicle stability control, traction control, anti-lock brakes, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, and smart stop technology. There's blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert. As the first full-size pickup to offer blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, Tundra continues to redefine the segment. When the available, right, optional blind spot monitor detects a vehicle, it illuminates a warning indicator, right? There it is right down there on the, on the side mirror, on the outside mirror to alert you of the presence of another vehicle, helping you to determine when it's safe to change lanes. Now, the rear cross-traffic alert works in much the same way when you're slowly backing out of a driveway or parking spot. It provides audible and visual indicators to warn you of approaching vehicles. And this one also has heated side mirrors, as we can see. And you can see it has a turn signal indicator in there as well. There are eight airbags in the Toyota Tundra. And they say, no, it says, and only Tundra has driver front outboard passenger knee airbags. No other air, no other truck has that. There is the child latch system. Now, you know, they don't have anything. They're running out of features. If they got if one of the features has to be this latch thing, that's got to be standard in every car. <laughs> 
produced. I'm not really knocking them, but it's a little funny. Then you got your title care. Title care is devoted to safety and dependability. Now, we don't get into this, but uh, that's why we uh, include a no-cost maintenance plan. Now, let's listen to that, though. Uh, every new Tundra for two years or 25,000 miles, whichever comes first, 24-hour roadside assistance is also included for two years and unlimited miles. That's pretty cool. I like that. Toyota Care. All of a sudden, I do care about Toyota Care. Okay, here we are on the, on the specs page. We went over the overview page, the gallery page. We just went through all those features. Now we're over here at the full specs. We're not going to go through all these things. I just want to look at a few things. Like, for instance, we can see the, the fuel economy. Uh, 13 miles to the gallon in the city for the limited, 18 miles to, on the highway, and 15 miles combined. That's for the limited. Only the SR5 gets a little bit better only because it gets that different motor. It has the 4.6 liter motor, not the 5.7. Remember, once you get the five, once you get into the limited, which starts at 40,000 and change, you get the leather interior and all that, and then you get the 5.7 liter engine. And from there up, they're all 5.7 liter engines. Let's just check a few dimensions. Like, remember, we're looking at the limited. It's right here in the middle. The limited is 76 inches in height. It's 79.9 uh, inches wide. Its overall length is 228.9 inches. Everything's in inches, mind you. Uh, wheelbase, 145.7. Uh, the bed length, 78.7. .7. The bed depth, depth, 22.2. The bed width, 66.4 inches, right? Total, and then 50 inches between the wheel wells. We've got some headroom, right? 39 in the front, 39.7 inches in the front, 38.7 inches in the back. Hip room, wow, a very generous 62.6 front and back. Leg room, very generous, 42.5 up front, 34.7 in the back. Shoulder room, 65.7 up front, 65.6 out back. Very big, comfortable truck is the takeaway on that. Okay, let's look at a few weights and capacities. So the vehicle weighs 6,900 pounds, or I'm sorry, the base curb weight, 5,200 pounds, uh, maximum payload, 1,660, standard 38-gallon uh, fuel tank, seating capacity, five people. The SR5, SR5 says they seat six, must have a bench seat in the front. Says here that the limited can tow 10,100 pounds, actually. All right, last thing I want to look at is what options might be available for the limited before we go do the building price. Looks like the heated power outside tow mirrors with integrated blind spot monitor. Looks like, and running boards, right? What about packages? What about packages? The TRD off-road package, yep, and the limited premium package. Awesome. And remember, we're in the center column. And then warranty information, just real quick. 36,000, uh, 36,000, uh, 36 uh, 36 36,000 basic warranty, 60 months, 60,000 powertrain, 60 month unlimited, uh, unlimited miles, corrosion perforation, and then 60 months, 60,000 mile on your restraint systems. All right, that all looks pretty good. Let's go over to the building price now. I'm ready. I think you're ready too. All right, let's pick our, our truck. Let's pick our truck. We're going to pick the, the limited, right? All right, now it's going to ask us for our bed selection. I want it to crew max with a 5.5 short bed. All right, we're going to select that one, get that one, and then we can move on to the next step. There's only one engine option. Like I said, it's the 5.7 liter V8, 381 horse, 401 pound-feet of torque, right? It's got four-wheel drive and all that good stuff there. What color did we want? What color did we want? They don't even give us anything good. Um, I know I liked the um, quicksand. I'm just going to do quicksand. This color is only available with limited premium package and power tilt slide moonroof with sliding sunshade. I want to do the premium package, so yeah, that's fine. We'll take a look at the details of the premium package when we get on that page, but we're just going to go ahead and jump forward and go ahead and get that so we can get the color that we want. And then the interior is graphite leather or black leather. I want black leather for the interior. Okay, so there's our black leather over the quicksand, and now let's move on to packages, and we can see what that premium package, what it all included, and then we're also going to get that TRD package as well. Oh, there's lots of packages to choose from, apparently. TRD off-road package. View the details. It's only 70 bucks. TRD off-road package upgrade, standard 18-inch wheels. I don't want 18-inch wheels because our limited already has uh, 20s. What comes with the limited premium package? Limited premium package includes front and rear park and assist, blind spot monitor, rear cross-traffic alert, um, the Intune JBL audio, all that stuff. Okay, we're going to get that. We'll go ahead and get that package. I thought we already had that package. 
Ah, we already have we already had a package. Remember, we already had to pre-select one. Where is it at? There it is, right there. Sorry, limited premium package with all the options. This was the high-end one. Limited premium package, TRD off-road package, uh, power tilt slide, moon roof, everything. It's got everything. This one has everything. Here's what the TRD package has. Upgrade standard wheels to 18-inch wheels. Okay, so they're smaller because you're going to get like the sportier look. But you're going to get the better suspension, the skid plate, the fuel tank skid plate, the tow hooks, all that. Then you get the limited premium package. That gives you some more tech. The blind spot monitor, rear cross traffic alert. Uh, you get the illuminated entry system, anti-theft with alarm, audio and integrated navigation, the engine immobilizer, all that good stuff. So... That's a loaded package for three grand. It's not that much money for the package, but you get a lot of stuff. They're throwing a lot at you for the money. All right, so we got it. We went through everything. Now all we need to do is just kind of look at a few accessories and see if we want to grab any accessories out the door before we wrap up this building price. And the answer to that is, yeah, I always like the wheel locks. Um, what else do I like? All weather floor liners and door sill protectors. Right, this goes all the way over. I like that. That's nice. Um, Ooh, that bed mat's interesting, but I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm going to buy it, but it's interesting. I like the bed step. We're going to go ahead and select that. What about these brushed stainless steel step boards? I like those so far, unless there might be another set that we like if we see something else, but they might not show us. It. Yeah, there's the classic running boards. We'll pass on that. Carpeted floor mats. We need those when we don't have the, uh, the outside ones. Center console tray. Nah, we don't need the center console tray. We don't need the camera. And we don't need the deck rail system or any of that. The emergency kit, exhaust tip chrome. Nah, we don't need exhaust tip chrome. And any of the first aid stuff. High performance LED fog lights in black. Yeah, why not? Why not? High performance uh, performance LED fog lights in chrome. Let's do that. Let's do that. And then I don't usually skip over the paint film protector stuff. I like these Predator tube steps. Those are interesting too. I like those as well. But we've selected the other ones. I'm going to kind of leave that. Skid resistor bed liner with deck rail. That's kind of nice. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I'm going to say, let's select that. I kind of like that bed liner. Now, keep in mind that all this other... Oh, you know what? That's a spray-on bed liner. Here's a spray-on bed liner. Let's do that instead. And we weren't able to select the... Oh, really? Okay. Well, apparently, we can't do any of the bed liner stuff based on the color we have. So we're not going to worry about that. Here's a spare tire lock. We're not going to worry about that. Uh, the Tundra package number one. What is this? Nah, we're not going to worry about that stuff. That's just tips and the rest of the little accessories. Tie downs. The tonneau cover is really nice. I kind of like that. Can we get that in our color? <laughs> yeah, we can get that. Trailer ball. We don't need that. The off road mats. High performance air filter stuff. TRD performance air intake. That's kind of fun. View details. That's kind of fun. Improve stock airflow and help increase both horsepower and torque with superior acceleration when you install the TRD air, uh, TRD air intake. Sold. Four and a quarter. Eh, you're probably not getting much for four and a quarter, but sold. Let's do the TRD performance front brake pads. Yep. Uh, and then in the rear. Sure, why not? TRD performance dual exhaust system muffler kit. TRD performance dual exhaust system with black chrome tips. And then TRD performance exhaust system with chrome tips. I like this one. That's a full exhaust system. Let's go ahead and take a look at all that. We're having too much fun now. This is my kind of stuff. Hear your engine roar with style. The TRD exhaust gives your engine greater power while bellowing out a deep throaty tone. Sold. We're getting that. All right. And what about this? The shocks up front. I want the performance shocks up front and in the back. We're buying into the whole thing. Give me the radiator cap. Give me the skid plate. I want to upgrade it to stuff. Uh, ooh, the sway bars, front and rear. All right, we're jacking ours up. Look at our price. But I don't care. I want what I want, and we're going to get what we want. All right, so I think we're good there. We've, we've racked up a whole bunch of accessories. I went to Funky Town on the accessories. Uh, now let's go over to the summary. All right, so this Tundra started life at $45,600. Uh, we got that premium package, which was $2,770. And then we went to town. We went to town, son, on those uh, on the uh, accessories. We went to town on the accessories. Now, 
can I print this summary off? I'm going to go ahead and check that first because lately some of these websites, I haven't been able to do it. And I tell people before I already do it, before I wrap the video up, that you can download it. And then I can't do it. And then I've already put the video up. So let me double check, make sure I can download this summary. And if I can, well, then I'll put the link in the description below. Let me check real quick. Okay, result. That worked. All right, so I downloaded the build summary for this 2019 Toyota Tundra. So if you like the way I built and spec this vehicle, then you can download the link, download the build summary in the description below. All right? Uh, other than that, we're at the end of this. We're at the end of this build. This is a 2019 Toyota Tundra. It's not a bad truck. Like I said, I was going to make my own decision. And I think it's still a nice truck. Even though I can see where it's a little old and long in the tooth, it's still a really nice truck. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank you for joining me. If you like this truck, leave a comment and share the video, and subscribe, <laughs> and have a nice day.